The institution of Governor General is largely symbolic and is a remnant of the very relationship which has allowed many Caribbean states to be still up to this day paying homage to the Privy Council. Gathered in Antiguan Barbuda are Governors General and Presidents of the Caribbean region for their 15th conference. Sir Dennis was invited to make a presentation at one of their working sessions on Wednesday at Sandals. One issue that came up was the whole matter of the funding of the court. The last um, financial statements I had access to, audited accounts, showed that after nine years of operation, the fund had expended 47 million US dollars to run the court for that nine year period. And they still had the $100 million intact. The questions were pointed and direct, seeking precise answers from the CCG head on the financial viability of a growing Caribbean entity that is now seen as an appropriate replacement to a century-old British institution. How is, in fact, the diminishing um, bank interest rates? Um, do you anticipate this impacting on on, on the fund and your viability, your financial viability? Yes, um, it will inevitably do so. Because um, those calculations were made 15 years ago, or thereabouts. And since then, the cost of services have increased. And the returns for invest investment have decreased. And additionally, our vision of what a court should do has expanded. Interestingly, just prior to the presentation by Sir Dennis, the private secretary to Queen Elizabeth, Sir Christopher Gate, delivered a discourse on the relationship between the Crown and Caribbean realms. Andy Lybird reporting for ABS News.